Katie Fleming Cosplay. I am working on a new tutorial series thing about how I make cosplay armor. Um, I've had some requests for it on my page and I'm extremely humbled by that. But let me note that everything that I have learned has been strictly from other cosplayers. In particular, Kamoi Cosplay and AK Wiru, Wiru, I'm saying that right? Cosplay. I will post their links down below. Please go check them out because they've been extremely helpful to me. Not only them, but so many cosplayers out there. And through research of the internet, just note that my my method of doing things is strictly based off of other people's methods of doing things. Hopefully I can share my knowledge with you. So part one of this tutorial series is going to be about measuring and pattern making for your armor. Hey, let's do this. All you're going to need for this is these four items. And yourself. That's important. So you need a clear plastic saran wrap, a marker, preferably a dark color and something that does not uh, easily smear. Sharpies are great. So you need a tape of some sort that you can draw on. This is painter's tape, which is fine. This is all I had right now. But masking tape works the best. Duct tape is fine. Just make sure you have a solid color so that you can easily see your lines. Scissors. Sharp, sharp scissors are good. For this project in particular, I am using a 1 8 inch craft foam that you can find at Walmart. Uh, it doesn't really matter what color unless you're extremely picky about that. If you want the armor to be a little bit bulkier, you can kind of upgrade to a thicker foam. Um, but this is what we're going to use for this project. For this one, I'm doing bracers. All you need to do is you just need one arm and you're going to wrap your arm, doesn't matter which arm, obviously. You want to go all the way up to your wrist, if not a little bit past it. All this is for is so that the tape doesn't stick to your, your body. Right at your wrist, and just wrap your arm in the tape. And it may start getting a little tight, it's fine. Just don't, you know, cut off the circulation in your arm. Make sure it's uh, all the gaps are covered. Now, you're gonna take your Sharpie, just kind of doodle down the middle here. Rough estimate, it does not have to be exact. The line. Now this is the part that you need to be very careful. You don't need any safety gear for this, but just be extremely careful when you're doing this. Use common sense. Really. So you're going to take your scissors, going to cut this off down the line that you just used. Once again, just be extremely careful. Take your time. Ta da! Want to research your character and make sure you look closely at the design of each armor piece. Take a look at their armor, find out how it's shaped, and I personally doodle it out so that I can see what kind of shape I'm going for. It's actually the doodle that I came up with. This is like my own custom design. I have my bracer piece that I just made. One of the first things that I do is I actually take it and I crease it right down the middle. And then I cut off the excess edges so you have something like that. Then I take my marker Make sure you have your reference photos or whatever you need nearby. Just draw directly on to your piece. Do not worry about being symmetrical yet. All I want is a point with a star at the top. Basically the shape I'm going for. I'm going to fold it in half and I'm going to cut. So now you have something like this. Now along your middle crease that you made earlier, you're going to cut right down the center. So now you have two halves. You only need one half, and I will show you why. So I have my craft foam down here, and all I'm going to do is take my half, lay this down onto your piece, and just tape it down real quick, just to keep it from sliding around too much, and just trace right along the edges and I flip it over so I'm lining it up again I am going to tape this down trace along the edge 
and I'm going to cut it out. Now due to human error, fold it in half as close as half as possible. And just to make sure that everything is pretty much lined up, that you don't have any crazy excess hanging pieces, try to get them as equal as possible. And now you have your basic shape. This will eventually wrap around my arm like this. The tape method of getting measurements for your body can be used for many parts of your body. It can be used for just your arms, your legs, your feet, whatever uh, part of your body that you need a um, pattern for. As a result, you should get um, a well-measured and proportionate pattern for your armor. I think it's a great and cheap way to do it. I really, really hope this helps you in your future projects. If you have any specific questions, please, please, please let me know. Please come to me, come. I'll be more than, more than, more than happy to help you. The next tutorial is actually gonna be the detailing stage of things, then giving it a warm, fuzzy coat of Borbla. And from there, uh, we will go to like priming and painting and all that jazz. We'll talk about attaching armor to your body. So yeah, I really hope this helps. Bye guys, stay tuned for more.